Hello everyone, it's Tana here from Home Cooking with Tana. Today I am going to share one of the most famous Indian dishes with you all. Most of us love having this dish and that is authentic butter chicken curry. So let's start cooking this beautiful curry. These are the ingredients that we need to marinate our chicken. Let's prepare the chicken first. I have three chicken thighs here. I am going to cut them into little pieces. You can also use chicken breast. Now let's add the spices. One teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon of ginger garlic and half a cup of plain yogurt. Mix them well and let this marinate for about 2 hours. You can also marinate this overnight and that's even better. At the same time get 70 grams of cashews and put some water. Let it soak and we need this to make our sauce later. After couple of hours, we take the chicken and let's prepare them for broiling. Traditionally, butter chicken is cooked in special tandoor oven and as we don't have that option, we are going to use our normal oven. I am using the kebab sticks as it helps to turn the chicken easily. You can also spread the chicken on a baking dish. We are going to broil this for about 25 minutes. Now we have the ingredients to make the tomato based sauce. Heat the pan to medium heat and add 2 tablespoon of olive oil and 25 grams of butter. Once the butter is melted, we are going to add the spices. Starting with 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds. Next add 4 cardamom pods and 2 cloves. These spices give the curry a beautiful aroma. In course crushed ginger and garlic. Cook this few seconds and add 2 teaspoons of Kashmiri chilli powder. Next add 1 teaspoon of garam masala and half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. In course our chopped onion and give this a good mix and add chopped tomatoes. Now we are adding the cashews that we soaked earlier. Soaking helps to cook the cashews faster. Add 1 teaspoon of salt and give it a good mix. Add half a teaspoon of fenugreek leaves and 1 cup of water. Close the lid and let this cook for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, we are adding 3 teaspoons of sugar. You can adjust the amount of sugar here. Cover the lid and let it cook for another 10 minutes or until the tomatoes are soft and mushy. Once it's all cooked, we are going to blend everything into a smooth paste. Here we have the blended sauce. I am going to add this into the same pan. Keep the heat medium to low. Give this a good mix and add another 25 grams of butter. The sauce is creamy and smooth and also has a beautiful smell with all those spices. Now we are adding the broiled chicken and let this cook about another 10 minutes. As the butter chicken simmers, it allows the flavors to develop and intensify. Our butter chicken is ready now. Serve with some fresh cream and fenugreek leaves on top. 
This is best to enjoy with some naan or plain rice. On my upcoming video, I am going to share how to make this soft and fluffy garlic naan. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and also subscribe to see more videos. See you next time.